Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, with your help, this channel just hit the 500 subscriber mark since the very first video that I put out back in August. Now, it seems like such a silly thing to do to post a 500 subscriber video as there are so many bike related channels out there on YouTube with just orders of magnitude more followers than this channel. But at the same time, I am genuinely thankful for you early adopters. Um, and I know it's just clicking on like a little red button on your end, but it means a lot to me. And I really just wanted to take a quick minute to say thanks. Now I realize this channel has basically no brand or structure or formula to speak of, but I think that'll come with time. Now, so far the videos have been a mix of some how to's and some product reviews um, and some ride along videos where I take you along with me on some local routes that I do. And I'll probably continue along the same vein, at least for a while. Um, but I am pretty certain that the channel will evolve over time. If anything, my brand so far has been to try and provide clear and concise, unbiased reviews and transparent explanations uh, from an average everyday cyclist with a technical background. More informative than entertaining really, and I definitely believe that there's a place for that here. Now, I'm well aware that I'm not particularly charismatic uh, and I'm definitely not cool or edgy like some of the other channels out there. So I'm actually pretty surprised and thankful to have a following at all, regardless of the size. What I do know is that I love cycling and I ride whenever I can, but I also don't race competitively and I'm committed to a growing family and I have a full-time gig outside of the channel. And so even though I can't pump out content at a ridiculous rate like some of the bigger channels, I do think that my perspectives may resonate with a lot of you viewers who might be roughly in the same sort of life stage as me. It definitely feels like the bike YouTube space is pretty saturated with a lot of great channels putting out just really fantastic content. But I also want to believe that there's room for us smaller channels to grow and earn a following as well. Now I've been in or adjacent to the cycling industry for over 20 years, both as a consumer and as a professional. And in that time, I've accumulated a bit of knowledge and perspective. And I think that even if different channels are covering roughly the same topics, each channel has its own unique voice and perspective that may resonate with some viewers more than others. Now, as far as video production quality, I'm a complete noob. I have no background in video production or editing, but I can say that I'm enjoying the process of learning so far. I've been working really hard to learn new techniques and to take advantage of the basic gear that I already have. Now, hopefully you've seen some progress in the video quality already, just in the past few videos but I'm always working to improve. Now, beyond the view counts and the subscriber numbers, a lot of you are actually very active in the comments. I love how we can sort of chit chat and bounce ideas back and forth off each other in this small but passionate community. As evidence, I have responded to literally every single comment across all the videos, and frankly, I enjoy engaging in the conversation and talking bike stuff with other enthusiasts like myself. You know, with all the crazy stuff happening in the world right now, I feel like we can always rely on our bikes for a bit of an escape as we go for a long ride or just obsess over ridiculous stuff like gear ratios and tire widths and handlebar flare angles. And I want to continue to work hard to make this channel a, a sanctuary for like-minded bike people like you and me. All right, so I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'm definitely not expecting views or subscriptions from this video. I really just wanted to take a quick minute to say thank you for being a part of this small but growing channel. I'm so thankful for your support and I hope to continue the conversation through future videos. I'll see you next time.